Hi, VC again, this is Bev, and I wanted to do this uh, a quick video, hopefully. Um, there's a thread that's going around, um, which I spotted, um, and it's, um, what was your first CD? So I, uh, obviously I thought oh, I can do that because I know exactly what my first CD was, and I thought it would be kind of cool one to do. Um, so I can't actually show you the very first CD I got, ever got, because I no longer have it, um, but I can show you a picture. So, the very first CD I ever got was, uh, I didn't buy it myself, it was given to me by my mum, because I was still a kid, and it was, uh, lo and behold, Jason Donovan and 10 Good Reasons, um, which was 1989, on PWL. Stock Aitken and Waterman's label. Uh, yeah, so, and I think this is pictures for Discogs, and that was the back cover of the disc. <laughs> At the time, I would be something like 11, going on 12. Um, and initially, um, I got my first hi fi, and I think it was Christmas 87. And that had the record player, but no CD player. And then CDs were becoming a big thing at this point. Um, so I think it was two years later. I think. Sure, it was two years later. So this would be about Christmas 89, maybe. Uh, I may be out by a year or whatever, but hey ho. We'll just call it Christmas 89. And, um, I decided I wanted a CD player, of course, you know, this was the latest thing. My brother got one, so, you know, because he had one, I had to have one, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I harped on and harped on, and with uh, one, you know, one day, um, it was, I think it was, was it still the Christmas holidays at this point, maybe? Certainly it was in early January, and the January sales were on, and I had collected what Christmas money I had got. Um, and went up the town with my mum to do initially what was supposed to be clothes shopping. I was going to get myself some new clothes, obviously, uh, with the Christmas money. And it turns out we came home with a hi fi. I came home, uh, British Home Stores, and it was the um, it was an off the shelf one. So um, it was like the display model in the shop and. Uh, the home section, um, and it was a Hitachi or Hitachi, um, and this one had the CD player, mm -hmm. had the record player and the CD player, and we came home with this, and because it was off the shelf, you know, they found a box to put the hi-fi main parts on, I think it was mostly an all-in-one at this point. can't remember if the CD player itself was separate from the rest of it, but anyway. But there was a speaker, we had a speaker each in big massive carrier bags. And out we walked out to Princess Street and hailed a taxi right there. And came home with this high fi So, um, and obviously uh, Mum came in one night and uh, handed me Jason Donovan, because at the time I was into him, uh, I was... As most po folk were at my age back in those days, um, if you were at school, you were into neighbours. Home and away was just kicking in at this point, I think. Um, so yeah, um, that was that. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know. But, um, I have picked out a couple of other, a couple of other very early CDs I remember getting. Um, I don't know which order they came in, but I've got three that I think I had in my co in my collection fairly early on. This was another one that was an early addition to my CDs, and it's Europe's Out of This World, because this came out in 88. I had the 7-inch of Superstitious, which was the first single, um, and I decided, you know, I want to hear more of this, because I heard their other single, Open Your Heart, came out, I think, and... Um, I liked what was on the B side of Superstitious as well, so that was one of the ones. This uh, is a 1988 album as well, so that's that one I've had since back in the day. 
and because I had Def Leppard's Hysteria on vinyl and now that I had a CD player, um, this became a, qu a quick early edition as well. Um, I didn't get the CD in 87, I think I got this in about, I don't know, summer 1990, because I remember buying it in a Woolworths when we were on holiday down in somewhere like, I don't know, Southport or Scarborough or something like that. So that's where I picked that one up. And another early disc that I got was um, Idol Songs, Billy Idol, um, which this came out in 88 as well, I think. So, you know, it's got Rebel Yell and White Wedding and stuff like that. Um, so that was that, basically. Um, my first CD, as I said, was Jason Donovan's 10 Good Reasons. Um, and these were some of the next. Um, and, you know, um, I first saw this thread from James Griffith. It was him that I saw it going around on. I think the thread was initially started by uh, Beetle Brad in the, the VC. So, um, you can, I'll leave a link to his channel below, um, <coughs> to both James and Beetle Brad if you're not subbed to these guys. And I shall see you in another video. Bye bye.